hello everyone in the previous video we learned that what we are going to cover this in the series so basically we are going to create a full blog system so i'm going to do this with the scratch so first i'm going to create a project so let me go to my directory and here i have opened my laravel apps and i have opened this here if you don't know how to open this out so i'm basically i'm going to use git bash so you can use whatever cmd or whatever you will prefer so if you are not familiar with this uh, git so this this one is a git uh, bash so you can download it from the google by googling it git bash so here i have opened laravel apps this folder i'm going to create a new app into my this folder so what's the command i'm going to do this with the composer so you can also create the app globally but i have this prefer to download with this uh, composer a composer create project laravel slash laravel and here I'm going to name my project CMS. So CMS stands for Content Management System. So basically, I'm building this project for my client and my client uh, says that uh, I need a system where an administrator will post uh, something uh, from the admin dashboard and this will be uh, visible on the uh, front end website, right? So post contain a title, image and description and stuff like that. But I'm going to add uh, some more features like uh, their tags, their um, their tags, and their something. Uh, what I'm going to add uh, tags, and uh, I'm going to add their categories. So I'm going to also add this for you, so you can watch it step by step that how to create this type of system. So this one is installing. So I'm going to open this into the VS Code. So I'm not going to skip any of the steps. We will learn each and everything what I'm performing in my text editor or in my web browser. Okay, so it's opening the VS code. I'm using this VS code uh, and uh, let's click on this file and here I'm going to open folder. Let me go to the Laravel apps and in the Laravel apps we created the CMS, this one, right? I'm going to open this folder here, also make this a little bit bigger, okay, make this bigger and I'm also going to create a new, let me go there and it's still installing the Laravel 9 and uh, Basically, it's going to uh, it comes with the wheat config.js. So, if you are not familiar with the wheat, so basically, wheat is a asset bundler, and we are not going to uh, add this, add the compile our files using wheat. Yes, so if you want to compile your files using wheat, so you can watch my full series where I completely explain each and everything that how you can uh, create, uh, how you can uh, compile your assets using this uh, wheat so you can watch this series bootstrap dashboard with wheat so i'm going to close this out uh, and i'm not going to do this uh, with this uh, video because i want to uh, shoot only on specific uh, topic so here it's almost uh, done so let's wait for a moment and here this one is our project structure so we are going to use uh, one database and then we are going to uh, uh, add our columns into this database so first let's create a database so here let's turn on XAMPP or whatever uh, platform you are using so I'm going to open localhost to PHP my admin to use this XAMPP I want to basically open my SQL okay let's wait for a moment okay 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 it's opening the database i'm going to create a new database and what's the name of database i'm going to create the laravel cms or you can create the simple cms right enter and yes this database is created here and in the laravel project i'm going to name this cms right save this one and here let's test this and almost it's done and it's going to generate our files okay and after this we will run this out and this we can view this in the web browser okay let's wait for a moment okay 
okay it's done and uh, there is there are much more things in the laravel 9 so it's flags and spaces here so i personally like these things okay so key is generated and stuff like that so now let me uh, switch into this project so which we created right now and here i'm going to run this with the php artisan serve so it's very simple so type uh, local host uh, 8000 and uh, open your app here okay so our app is installed and the laravel version is 9.2.5 so basically we are in the laravel 9 and we are going to add our now things into our project so let me check the video size so our video size is not going bigger so i will try to shoot these videos uh, you know, from 8 to 13 minutes because uh, you will learn something from longer video because if i shoot um, five to seven video five seven minute video so the topic will not be covered so that's why i'm trying to shoot this uh, longer video okay so i have added the database so now i'm going to uh, add my database add my website into this uh, laravel project so let's go to the resources views and this one welcome is uh, responsible for viewing this welcome blade right i'm not going to use this out i'm going to delete this stuff and here i'm going to in the views i'm going to create a website directory and in the website i'm going to use this stuff right so before this i'm going to create a main layout for both ones so there would be a, let me click on this view so i'm going to create a layouts directory so in this series i'm going to tell you each and everything that how to structure your files and uh, how to properly uh, use uh, uh, basically i'm going to use a proper location of each files and how to structure the overall project so here i created the layouts and in the layout i'm going to create the website dot blade dot php so why i have created this uh, layouts directory because i want to create one main layout and then i will render my child component into this main layout so this one our this one is our master blade right so basically we are going to use the header and footer for of a website so first i'm going to let me go to the website and this one is our website right so basically i want to let me open the here blog right sidebar so basically i want to render this thing so i want to add this air uh, header and this footer for all files so how i first i will render all of the things and then i'm going to add this uh, stuff into the next one so here let's uh, press the control plus u or you can view this view page source okay so it's opened all code here right and then what's next so here we need to this one is our here where our header is ending and blog sidebar let me view it and yes this one is ending here so i'm going to first uh, now copy this header i'm not going to copy all of the stuff so here i have uh, copied this out our header and let's go here and here i'm going to paste this out right so i pasted it here and then i'm not going to add uh, the basics uh, i'm not going to add this content here this one is blog right sidebar this latest post and stuff like that basically i want to reuse this uh, top bar and a footer so after this here i'm going to add a footer so now let's uh, copy the footer code okay so footer is starting from here footer i'm also going to copy these scripts and add them here right because i'm not going to use this for the multiple time if you are using these styles into the um, if you want to use these style reuse these styles uh, into two pages basically we are going to use them into the 10 or 20 pages but if you have a different login so then you can uh, copy them and add them into a separate file footer.blade.php and include this footerblade.php so you can instantly include uh, this footer into whatever location you are willing to integrate or willing to reuse okay so now our footer is there our header is there right 
So now save this one and I'm going to go to my web.php file which is responsible for our all of route. So let me open this out from here. So this one is opening default welcome view. I'm not going to open the welcome, I'm going to open the layouts. And in the layouts, I'm going to open the website layout, right? Save this one and uh, let's visit our home page. So let's go here and give it a refresh. So nothing is going to work. It's going to just display simple content because uh, our styling is not working, our images is not working and our JavaScript files are not working. Okay, wait for a moment. And yes, it's displaying header and footer content, right? Okay, now let's work on that, uh, how we can add the uh, styles and where to add them. So basically we are not going to compile these files, so that's why I'm going to paste them into the public directory, right? So here we have a CSS, images, JS and plugin, right? So I'm going to copy these all of the ones. Let's press Ctrl plus C or just type Ctrl type uh, from mouse copy and let's go to the project directory so this one is our cms and in the cms let's go to the public directory and here just create the assets directory assets and in the asset i'm going to now create a website directory because i want to add them because these are the website assets so i'm going to make them separate administrator assets separate so we can uh, if uh, in future we want to change the administrator theme so we can easily change the administrator theme by going to change the administrator asset so let's uh, paste everything here so our website theme is uh, theme files are separate our admin themes are files are separate so here let me create an admin directory for copying the admin asset but i will do this later so here now let's go to this uh, website dot uh, blade.php so i'm going to set the path of these files right so let me uh, select uh, all of the ones by pressing ctrl plus d d d so it will mark all the similar uh, keywords so here i'm going to type mustache sign and then type asset because this asset is used for look into the public folder so basically we are going to uh, open our uh, our css and image uh, css and image file using this asset because we added them into the public and then in the public we created the assets directory so here we are going to go to this uh, assets okay and then what's next we are going to after this asset we are going to this website and then we are going to look at these files so here i'm going to go to this website and after this website there would be a uh, plugin because these all files are stored in the plugin so that's why i'm using this plugin and just to go here and uh, cut this out and paste them here so this is the short trick that how you can easily change your path otherwise you need to manually do this one by one and make sure that you are doing it properly if you miss uh, any of the file letter so this will not going to work and then we need to also add this this would be not in the plugin so that's why we are doing this in the different way so here just create the assets in the assets we have a directory of uh, website and in the website we have a css directory and in the css we have a style.css so Let's paste this out. So let me show you that what I'm going to reference here CSS and this CSS contain this style.css this one, right? So now let's save this one and our CSS is going to work. So let's give it a refresh and you can also make sure that your CSS is working or not. So we'll do this in a minute. Okay, so now our um, uh, styling is working okay this footer is properly working but this uh, menu is not properly working because it's need the um, some javascript files we need to set the javascript path but if you make sure that your files are properly added so you can just go to this view page source and it will open this page source code in the next uh, tab and you can instantly click on any of the file and if it this file will be open here so it means that this path is correct but if you click on it here and this 
it will not be open so it's mean that your path is incorrect so why it's not opening because the RO is its website plugin on CSS and our path is good why it's not working okay it's not working so I think this only CSS is working otherwise other files are not working okay this one is working and uh, these one are assets and in the asset we have a website and website contains the, oh it would be a plugins not plugin right so just to select all of these plugin and add this s here and let's get refresh so this s will be also added here so let's click on this and it will open our file and yes it's opening our bootstrap file so now let's close this out and give it a refresh so it's going to work properly okay so header is working and footer is working so we need to add some content inside this uh, header and footer so let me check the video size oh my god our video size is going bigger but don't worry i'm going to pause this video and in the next video i'm going to start it from here even i'm not going to close any single tab so i will meet you in the next one Bye bye